Leukocytes farmia is when there's an elevation in white blood cells or leukocytes in the semen. It's defined as at least 1 million white blood cells per milliliter of semen. The causes of leukocytes farmia include infections such as urinary tract infection or sexually transmitted infections, or some non-infectious etiologies like autoimmune conditions, urethral stricture, varicoceles, or substance use. A lot of the times, the underlying cause is idiopathic, other, or fancy way of saying we don't know. Um, it's just inflammation somewhere along the genital urinary tract. <clears throat> When there is an underlying symptom of an infection, uh, leukocytes permia can present similarly to a UTI or um, inflammation of one of the structures in the genital urinary tract, particularly the ones that uh, make uh, that create fluid in the semen, such as the prostate gland, seminal vesicles, the epididymis, and the testicles. So, someone with epididymitis or prostatitis. Um, likely would also have leukocytospermia found in the semen. So what's the importance of these white blood cells? What can they actually do to the sperm? Um, it's thought that they could cause some DNA damage to the sperm, increasing DNA fragmentation. They can also cause clumping of the sperm, which can reduce motility and make it a little bit harder to get pregnant. There really is no evidence that these white blood cells can negatively impact IVF in any way. Um, so um, the importance of these white blood cells is really when we're looking at couples trying to conceive naturally or through intrauterine insemination. Um, there are some studies looking at the different treatment options of leukocytospermia and um, in general, the studies that show um, a, an adequate treatment option are looking at long courses of antibiotics, similar to what you would be, uh, how you would treat a course of um, prostatitis. Um, so it's at least one month of antibiotics, such as um, doxycycline, Bactrim, or ciprofloxacin. Um, and some studies have even found that frequent ejaculation, which is defined as at least once every three days, can help clear out these white blood cells. There are no strict guidelines from the American Urological Association or the American Society of Reproductive Medicine with regards to treatment um, of leukocytospermia because um, you know the studies are not conclusive. Um, but in general, if my patients are trying to conceive naturally or through IUI, I will treat leukocytospermia. If they're moving straight to IVF, I leave it alone. If I treat with a month of antibiotics and it doesn't go away, then um, I usually leave it alone. Anyone who's symptomatic for an infection or who has evidence of an in uh, infection um, on a urine culture, for instance, I will treat with tailored antibiotics.